I'll be in the class. Okay, guys, just make sure you have a blanket or a pillow for pigeon today and anything you might need to support for forward fold touching the floor. We're going to begin seated today, so maybe sit on one of those blankets or the cushion. Um, I have a class that I call Finding Balance today. All right. You would have thought that was Monday's class where we went to a lot of standing balance poses, but this one is just finding balance within. So um, sit either crisscross applesauce, half lotus, full lotus, whatever is sustainable and intuitive to you. Maybe hands to your knees and just give a few rolls with the shoulders. I'm so glad y'all are here. So uplifting to me to be able to have this connection with you guys as well. So hopefully it's mutual. And we'll pause and go in the opposite direction. Maybe draw your nose around, soften your gaze, and really feel the body. Begin to just lubricate here and soften and relax. And then we'll open our palms to the skies. Maybe give your shoulders a few more rolls. Any wiggle squiggles you need. Have a nice big inhale through your nose. Maybe side out your mouth. Ah, nice exhale. So let's begin to engage a little bit mindfully so we are always protecting the body. Let's draw the pelvic floor in and up, Mula Bandha, belly button to the spine and up towards the heart. Uyana, let's give the shoulders a little roll. Let's extend all the way through the throat. Another exhale, soften the shoulders a little bit, Jalantara through our throat lock. Soften your gaze and just try to begin to feel the presence of your body front to back, side to side, the expansion, especially on the back of your neck. We tend to lose that awareness, and that is really what almost the finishing touch of keeping that core engaged. And we'll begin to deeply breathe in and out through our nose, awakening our ujjayi breath, our victorious breath. Might be a little ragged or rough at first, but as you truly just go into watching that breath travel up and down energetically, or focusing on the um, expansion or the sound of the breath, everything begins to just kind of fade away. Allow the jaw to soften. <clears throat> so recognize through your practice when you begin to lose awareness of this breathing, always pausing mentally to sync your movement, your transitions with this breath. It will keep you so focused and it will give you a little high afterwards truly stay connected with your breath 100% throughout your practice today. So on our next inhale, let's take our arms wide and up to the sky, palms together, exhaling to heart center. Maybe thumbs resting on the chest here, continuing to feel that rise and the fall. Nice, and we'll take this moment to set our intention. And when you're done, no hurry, just set your prop aside, keep it nearby. And we'll just go ahead and do a little spinal twist here. So bringing your feet somewhat forward, hands behind, fingers forward or a little to the side. If it's too tight on the shoulders, take the hands a little wider. Inhale, lift from the heart. Exhale, take the knees to one side. Inhale, the knees up. Exhale, slowly to the other. Just move slowly, exhaling with the twists. And maybe as the back, the hips begin to open up or relax a little bit, you might lift your heart, let the head fall back, going into a bit more of a back bend here. Pelvic floor is engaged, protecting that lower back. Making sure you finish on the side you did not begin on. Nice. We're going to work our way to hands and knees. Setting up for a cat and cow, so fingers spread wide, give those feet a little pat. 
Engage through the core, pelvis, lower belly. And when you're ready, begin to move through your cat and cow. And I love to say right now, be sure and soften your gaze. Close your eyes when you can. So the visual distractions of our home don't take over. You know how it is. You see something that reminds you of something you have to do. As always, you can get a little freestyle or organic, or if it feels good, so just sink it back a little. Nice. Just checking in where the body really craves some movement. Yes. All right, so we're going to pause here and curl our toes under, and with an exhale, lift our hips up and back, breathing our down dog. As we do so, begin to bend the knees as we roll on the toes. Press away from the earth. Feel the arms telescope to the shoulders. They're hugging in, protecting those shoulders. And once again, intuitive, maybe drop a knee and a hip in here. Feel that stretch. The hips go up and back, deeper into what the hip with the straight leg. And just enjoy. Let that other knee drift in front of the long leg. All right, so from here we're going to pause and down dog, maybe side out or uh, out the mouth. And inhale, wave it to plank, nice and slowly, no hurry, sink it with the breath, slow it down. Breathing, lengthening tailbone through heels. Maybe shift side to side, lift one hand, rotate the wrists. We're trying to feel light here at any time, you can lower the knees if this is too much to hold, full plank. And here, from here, we're going to take it all the way down. So maybe through your Chaturanga Dandasana. Don't let those shoulders go deeper than the elbows. And then we'll lay it down. Nice. Let's give our hips a little wiggle. Hands by the heart. Give the shoulders a little roll. All right. The elbows are backing in. So we're hugging to midline here. Our feet are pressing and they're staying down. We're going to go into Cobra Flows. So little to no weight on your hands. Maybe your hands hover. Inhale up to a low cobra. Exhale, weight it all the way through the throat. Inhale up, feel those arms hugging in like little cricket legs or chicken wings. Just moving with your breath, really firing up the back here in the core. All right, so the next time you come down, Hands by the heart, give the shoulders a little roll again, the hips a wiggle. Try to be as light as you can on your hands as you inhale up to your full edge of cobra. Breathing here, maybe draw the nose around a little or the chin side to side. Inhale, lift from the heart, exhale, feel the slow wave all the way down, feel the control. And with an exhale, we're gonna press up to modified plank. And then tabletop, walking those knees forward. Let's inhale, lift our right leg up. Exhale, bend the knee across the knee behind the left knee. Splay the feet wide, hands a little to the right. Pause, use an exhale to take the hips back as far as they want to go. All right, cross knee child here. So as always, you can hang out and be soft or come up and make it dynamic. Spider fingers, long arms. Squeeze those legs, pelvic floor belly strong, toes open. And breathe deeply, deep Ujjayi breath here in this closed off space. You might begin to feel the hips just sink back a little more. You can always draw your nose around the middle if that releases some tension, knowing where you need to move mindfully to transition. And on an inhale, we'll round it back up, lift the left leg up, exhale, bend that knee behind. Lay the feet wide, hands just a little to the left, and exhale, take those hips back. Breathing active or soft. Just breathing deeply. Connect with your breath. Let the sound of it soothe you and keep you present and focused. So you can just observe all you're feeling and seeing here within. We can just stay in this for another half hour. It feels pretty good this morning. So on an inhale, let's slowly bring it back up. 
Curl our toes under and exhale, down dog. Let's maybe build a little heat here. You might just pedal it out, move intuitively, or maybe a few Shakti kicks, handstand kicks, both heels simultaneously. Nice. Just having a little fun here. So when you're ready, looking towards your hands, walk, step, or float your feet between your hands. Inhale, look forward and find space on the spine. Fingers to the shin or on the floor. Press away, really telescope the spine. Feel the strength here. We're going to spend a few breaths. When you feel the shoulders peel from the ears, your mid-back press to the sky. Should really be hollowing out through the abdominal region here. On your next exhale, we're going to fold, forward fold. Press to the feet, inhale, reverse it on up, maybe a little back bend. And exhale, fold. All the way through the throat, feel the head surrender. Inhale, look forward and find space. And exhale, fold. Shifting your weight to your left foot, look forward, how controlled. And slowly, can you reach your right leg back to lunge? No hurry, control it, own it. Once you get there, pull that left hip crease back, engage the core, right hand down. And with an exhale, left hand to sky. You can look up towards that hand or an opposing spiral, looking down towards your right. Breathing, if it would feel good to do long, slow clock arms here with your left arm, watch the fingertips. That way the neck gets a little movement and you're moving with your breath. Nice. So from here, we'll bring our left hand down, step back, going through our first full vinyasa. Any variation, maybe extra chaturanga dandasana. Recognize if you need to lower those knees. Nice exhale, let it go. Working it out here. A little tight in my hip today. So I'm just going to move a little because it feels good. Some of you may have been sitting a lot more lately, so you've got to be careful. Keep that motion is lotion for the body, okay? So let's inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, bend that knee in the air, reach your toes towards your left shoulder. Press more to that right hand. Feel the deeper activation and stretch. If it feels good to draw the toes around, do so, or change your focal point. Inhale, lengthen the leg long. Exhale, knee to nose, lift your back heel high, tuck the chin, maybe you can touch that nose. Inhale it up. Exhale, knee to nose. All right, looking forward, how controlled can you get that foot inside the right hand? Woo, nice. Pull that right hip crease back, maybe a playful hinge as we inhale up, press and lunge. Nice, feel the shoulders soften. All right, we're working our way to forward fold. Um, if you want to, you can just bring the hands down step there or maybe you want to shift. Do a bit of warrior three, find a bit of standing split. Lifted leg, maybe pulse it a few times, toes open. Here in forward fold already, bend the knees a little. Be intuitive, massage, swish around. And we'll lower that left foot down by the other, forward fold. Spend a few breaths here, feel the pelvic floor belly strong. And then on your next exhale, you should feel the spine surrender and drape a little more. I always like to massage my hamstrings. That feels good to me. But some of you have other preferences, and that's where you should go, what feels good to you. Nice. So let's press to our feet. Inhale, reverse it up. Maybe a counter pose of a little back bend. And exhale, fold. Bite your fingers to the floor, looking forward, shift your weight to your right foot. How controlled can you take that left leg back? Yes. Pull the right hip crease back, left hand down, inhale, telescope, then exhale, right arm to the sky. So when you telescope that spine, you really feel everything hugging to midline, shrinking into the spine. Maybe looking down, and if it's a few long claw arms, do so. Maybe you can lower the hips just a little. Maybe you're starting to warm up a little more there. And then our hand will come down. We'll step back, going through your vinyasa. Everybody's vinyasa can be very just slightly 
for a lot. Nice exhale when you get there. Inhale, left leg to sky, and exhale, slowly bend the knee. Move with your breath. Don't just move and then breathe. Press more to the left hand. Savor the breath, connect with it. Notice what you're observing. Maybe some movement is intuitive. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose. Tuck that chin, lift the back heel high. Inhale, it back up. Exhale, knee to nose again. Fight for it. Get that left foot inside the hand as controlled as you can. Find that flat back, maybe a playful hinge or hands to thigh. And on an inhale, lift it up. Nice exhale, soften the shoulders from the ears. And just be, feel what's going on in your crescent lunge today. So once again, maybe straight to forward fold or shift into a bit of warrior three. Maybe straight into your supreme balance. Spider fingers to the floor. You might pulse that leg as well or even in supreme balance. Ooh, I'm working it here on the carpet. It's pushing right back at me. And we'll lower that right foot down by the other forward fold. Beautiful. Inhale, look forward and find space. And exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse it on up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, look forward and find space again. And exhale, fold as you step or float going through your vinyasa. Inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, knee to nose, smoothly, slowly. How controlled can you set it down? Flat back. Inhale up, press it lunge. Right hand to hip, left arm hugs. Keep that activation, feel that rib cage on each side really working. Inhale, reach and lengthen, exhale, hinge. Maybe a playful hinge here if it's available. And we'll exhale, bring that left arm outside the right leg, hands together. Press away from the leg, maybe open the heart a little more to the side. You can look up to the side or once again down. One of my favorite moves here is maybe looking forward, shift a little forward, the back heel lifts more. How controlled can you lift that back foot and set it down by the other of the quads. Now we're in a revolved chair, pull that left hip crease back. Press away from the leg, again, maybe open up. Lower the hips. All right, beautiful. Wasn't on the menu, but I'm feeling it today. Maybe open the arms, side crow right away, or even lift those heels, squeeze the legs, press the shoulders back, hands to heart, or your side crow from here. Yes, nice. So a nice detoxing twist wherever you are. You're breathing. Keep pulling that left hip crease back. We'll all meet in that revolve. Left arm outside the right. Looking down, press away from the leg, feel the strength, shift onto your right foot, and we're stepping that left leg back to that revolve. Press and lunge. Nice, inhale up. And exhale, reach as we take it down. Going through vinyasa. Enjoy the pause between the inhale and the exhale. Don't just go through the motions, really just hang out and observe anywhere you want as long as you like. Inhale, left leg to sky, exhale, knee to nose. Set it down inside the hand, flat back. And inhale up, press and lunge, enjoy the exhale. Breathing, just feeling. Remember, keep the foundation strong. That gives the upper body security and freedom to move a little more freely, all right? So left arm to the hip, right arm hugs. Inhale and exhale, hinge. Feel it from the right fingertips to the back heel. And maybe a playful hinge. It bothers your lower back, don't go there. 
And on an exhale, that right arm outside the leg and just turn here. Nice. Press away, lengthen, feel that telescoping again. Make sure you're not tucking your chin, but pressing the head back. Feel the back of the neck working. Once again, maybe open up. Beautiful. All right, so looking forward, or I think we did that forward. Looking forward, shift forward, the back heel lifts, the leg is strong, and set the right foot by the left. Pull that right hip crease back, press away. That's right, here is where we opened up. Once again, you can stay or keep moving forward, maybe straight into your side crow or lift the heels. Squeeze the legs, press the shoulders back. Hands to heart or revolve. And just play. Be focused wherever you are. Try to find that balance work. When you're breathing. Beautiful. And then we'll work our way back to that revolved chair. Look down, press away from the leg, shift your weight to the left foot. Have control, can you reach that right leg back again? And then inhale up, press it lunge. Exhale, reach, 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 feel that transition there. Stepping back, vinyasa. Nice exhale and down dog once you get there. Work it out a little. All right, so bottom of your next exhale, walk, step, or float, feet between hands. Inhale, look forward and find space. And exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse it on up. And exhale, hands to heart center, grounding breath. Maybe a sip of water if you want it while I talk a moment here. In this part of the sequence, we're going to be holding some of our poses. All right, so I want you to just maybe have an initial exhale, and truly, just like when we begin class, begin to watch your breathing from beginning to end to let that sympathetic nervous system go, and then begin to just truly feel all the elements of the pose, all right, without that initial distraction. So sun salutation A, Meeting in, down dog. Inhaling, arms up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, look forward and find space. And exhale, fold as you step or float going through your vinyasa. Nice exhale, let it go. Inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, knee maybe towards your right shoulder or underarm. If you have an arm balance here, feel free to go. Four, three, two, one. Inhale it up, just firing up the core. Exhale, knee to nose, tuck the chin, set your foot inside your right hand. Spin your back heel down sideways. So you might have heel to heel or heel to arch alignment. That allows the hips to open up more. Reach that left arm forward, really reach. Looking down, maybe you can play with a playful hinge. You're really using both feet and legs here. Add a challenge, keep the legs still and watch those left fingertips as you windmill it up. Or your two. All right, so I've reminded you before, so maybe keep remembering, if you have a little portable mirror you can bring into your space, do so, because it'll help you with alignments for some of these poses. All right, so let's track our front knee towards the pinky toe, press to that outside edge of the left foot, and roll that left thigh open. So you really feel the hips open up. Zip it up, press into the left rib cage, engage those hip points like you're closing a book, and maybe deep in the lunge. You're looking at your right middle finger, and now begin to breathe. Feel the shoulders soften from the ears. Feel that balance maintaining left foot, right foot, leg. That left rib cage pressing back and the spine telescoping long. If tension builds, maybe wiggle the fingers or rotate the wrists. Recognize where you can alleviate some tension in your body. Unnecessary tension or activation. Maybe even deepen the lunge a little more as we spend more time here. I think as Jennifer teaches in Ashtanga, maybe over time, you'll be 90 degree at the knee. Not necessary, just be, find your range of motion today where you are. 
but maybe that's one of your goals, and that's okay. That's where the mirror will help. Right hand to sky and exhale back. Peaceful warrior, lift up and out of the heart, maybe bend one elbow or both. Look up or down. Keep that front knee tracking and breathe. Feel the heart lifting up and out of the spine. Need a little extra twist here. All right, so we're gonna inhale up, warrior two arms, straighten both legs. All right, make sure you might wanna shorten your dance, uh, stance as we move towards triangle and we hinge forward. Let's play with a little hinge here. Yeah, maybe lift your toes a little and feel how firm and strong your foundation is. Kind of a fun little movement here. And then we'll hinge forward and just rotate our arms first. Press away from what you touch. Feel your shoulders press back. You want to feel like you're being pressed between two pieces of glass. Your hips aren't sticking out or your shoulders forward. And then from here, if it would feel good to deepen the pose, hand down deeper or press away. One way I can find more edge right away is I bend that front knee, reach my peace fingers inside that big toe, and then straighten the leg. My hip goes out a little bit, but I'm pressing those shoulders back, pull back off a little. Oh yeah, better. I'm at the ankle now. So just play with it. When you're breathing, you're feeling the legs hugging. You might play with lifting the toes a little bit so to make sure the knee doesn't lock. Yes, press through the ball of the foot. Maybe you can float your right arm forward. Looking at that right hand, maybe a butterfly or a bird, or an egg is in your hand, something very delicate. All right, and we'll inhale it up for you too. Nice. So from here, we're going to straighten both legs. All right, and we're going to point our toes forward. We're coming in to straddle. So making sure your toe, big toes pointed forward and the knees don't lock. You can keep hands to hips or arms wide as we inhale. Knees soft as we exhale into flat back. Inhale, press the mid back to the sky. Feel the shoulders from the ears. Feel that strong belly, that flat back. And with your next exhale, fold, forward fold. Take a moment to get a prop if you need to. And also take a moment just to acclimate and relax. Recognize if it would feel good to take your feet maybe wider. Yeah, as wide as you'd like. Nice. And from here, you might begin to go into some skandasana lunges. You might fly your arms or hands to heart. You can get down low, maybe come to a heel, close up. But try not to ground. Lengthen through the core, feel that activation. You can spend a few breaths here if you like on one side or just keep shifting side to side. All right, it's feeling good. I'm starting to get back into these a little bit more now, a little more comfortably. Feels good. Feel the stretch again. Uh, just a nice movement, let it be. Be playful and light. Be your own superhero. Because we're all unique and that's what we need to embrace is our uniqueness. And that is what brings joy to, joy to others around us. All right, so we're going to pause here. Big toes pointed forward again. Inhale and exhale, let's walk our hands towards our left foot. So your left hand's going to come to your hip or your waistline. Right hand outside the calf, the ankle or the foot or even the floor. Inhale, lengthen, feel that telescope. Exhale, use your right hand to draw your chest towards your leg and float your left arm up. Make sure the knees are a little soft and playful and exhale, take that left arm behind your back. Can you feel your mid back pressing away and back? That's fine telescoping. Maybe you can begin to draw the hand a little deeper, the right hand. Spending time here on this twist, that belly strong. On an exhale, maybe round it again, in, round it in, and inhale lengthen. Exhale, begin to unwind. Maybe a few lunges side to side. You can rotate your feet any way you like just when we come back to the straddle. To protect the knees, make sure the toes point forward. Let's find a bit of forward fold first. Inhale and exhale, just fold. Maybe hug yourself in. 
Maybe your forearms come to the floor or even your head. You might even reach your arms through your legs, fingers pointing away, and then kind of tight through your fingers like you're tightening. That'll activate the core a little more. Breathe, the hips are up. Recognize if your hips are shifting back. Try to keep them shifted forward in alignment with the heels. Oh yeah, that deepens it a little. All right, we'll slowly unwind, bring hands forward. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, walk our hands towards the right foot. Right hand to hip or waist. Find your hand placement outside the calf, ankle, foot, or floor. Flip your left hand. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale. Use that left hand to draw you in a little bit. Inhale, your right arm up. Exhale, take it behind the back. If your shoulder's not digging that, undo it, okay? And breathe. Maybe begin to take the left hand a little lower or deeper. Feel the strength here to keep that spine nice and long and telescoped. Everything drawing in, really activating those inner abdominal muscles that wrap around the spine. With your next exhale, maybe round it in. Inhale, press it back, lengthen, and exhale back to that straddle. Yes. And we'll just work it out a little. And then we'll walk our hands back towards the top of our mat, step back, going through vinyasa, meeting in down dog. Nice. Ah, nice exhale, let it go. Let's take our feet wider than our mat. Inhale, and with an exhale, maybe that chest drops in a little more. But don't just let the chest go in deeply. Press firmly away from the earth with those finger pads. Feel the arms hug towards the ears, and the triceps roll out and around like they're rolling back towards our legs on the outside. Hips are up and back. Recognize if you need to bend those knees a little extra, releasing some little added extra tension. Maybe that gives you a little more space in the shoulders and the back to bend the knees a little. It can be just a very small movement. You can see my legs just barely moving. Okay, walk, step, or float your feet back onto the mat. Inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, knee towards your left elbow, underarm, shoulder for three, two, one. Inhale it up. Exhale, knee to nose, then set the foot inside your hand. Spin the back heel down sideways, heel to heel, heel to arch alignment, reach that right arm forward. Looking down, maybe a playful hinge or left forearm to the thigh. And maybe try to keep the legs still wherever you go, however you go up. Maybe watch the right fingertips as you come up. Enjoy a nice exhale. So track that front knee to the left, roll to the outside edge of that right foot, zip it up, press into the right rib cage, looking at your left middle finger, engage those lower abdominals, maybe deepen the lunge, and breathe. You wanna feel the presence of your shoulders and your neck pressing back, the heart lifting in the expansions of the breath. Recognize if you kind of lose the activation in your right side body and begin to just lift Lean forward. You want to feel the spine straight up and down. Once again, everything hugging in. Remember, if tension builds, wiggle the fingers with the wrists. Left hand to sky, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Once again, maybe bend one elbow or both or none. But wherever you are, lift the heart up and out of the spine and breathe. Bit of a twist and a back bend here. Strong foundation. All right, we'll inhale up, warrior two. Straighten both legs, maybe shorten the feet a little closer together. Front knee stays playful, and let's play with that little hinge. Feeling the strength of those legs, how they're working. They're hugging together, pressing away from the earth. And then when you're ready, exhale, hinge and rotate. Press away from the legs. Feel the shoulders press back. Feel the spine telescope, kind of the head through the tailbone. Maybe play with taking the hand a little deeper. I can move my focal point too quickly. Yes. 
maybe once again, bend that front knee, sink the peace fingers inside the big toe. Yes. Once again, if it's not intention on the neck, maybe look down. All right. We're breathing. All right, we're gonna release it down and inhale up, warrior two. Rotating back to straddle, okay? Hands to hips or not, inhale, exhale, flat back. Inhale, press that mid back to sky, and exhale, fold. All right, so just a few little lunges side to side first. All right, so we're gonna take it in a little deeper this time. So if this is going to be too deep for you, Feel free to be intuitive and move how you want in these lunges or holding. But we're gonna bend the right leg. My heel lifts, but you don't have to lift the heel if your heel doesn't. And my left toes are open and point up. I'm gonna lengthen through the spine a little bit here and just feel what's going on. You might just stay here. All right, now this is where my toes, my left toes kind of reach the floor. I'm gonna to lean to the left and try to reach my right arm inside the leg, underneath and around. Maybe my left hand can find those right fingers, maybe not. But once I find my edge, inhale, lengthen through the spine, maybe look to the left and breathe. Feel those arms hugging in. Nice, nice stretch, nice twist, shoulder stretch. All right, we'll slowly unwind, Woo, work your way out of it. Always feels good to do a few lunges after that, moving around. All right, then we'll slowly work to the left side. Be mindful of your joints. Pause a moment, lengthen through the spine. Maybe this is where you stay. Or maybe you lean a little to the right, left arm in front, inside that leg and underneath. Once again, my right toes point down. Maybe you find the fingers, the bind, maybe you don't. Then lift from the heart, lengthen through the spine. And breathe. Beautiful, and when you're ready, unwind, work it out. We're gonna do a wide-legged vinyasa here. One of my favorites, it always feels good. So you'll point those toes forward, and slowly walk your hands out forward to plank. You can always lower those knees. Exhaling down, you won't cut, um, flatten the toes, so you'll keep, keep them curled under. And then exhale, take it up to a wide angle down dog. Or oh, might have to take the hands back a little, feels really good. Nice. And we'll walk our hands back towards the top of our mat. Step back, going through vinyasa. Or just me and down dog. We'll be working towards pigeon here in a moment, so make sure your clocks are nearby. Breathing, just settling down, maybe close your eyes, watch your breath from beginning to end. With your next inhale, lift right leg to sky, and exhale, bend that knee, press to the right hand. You might use a wall or a piece of furniture or a cabinet to press against, feel a deeper activation, that feels good. If it's available, flip your dog. Press to those heels, squeeze the glutes. Press away from the earth, and breathe into this back bend. Maybe it begins to deepen, maybe it doesn't. Look back, reach, inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale it up. Exhale, knee to nose again, and now let's bring that knee in behind our right wrist, wider if you can, to land our pigeon. Slide the back leg back multiple times. All right, nice. Try to take a moment and just feel centered here, all right? And then we're gonna wedge our prop in under the hip. If that hip is not sitting on the floor without leaning to the right. We want to feel centered. You don't want to feel like you're leaning to the right unless you need that extra little release. Hands a little wider than them off the mat and just a little forward, hands off. Inhale, 
Water falls. Exhale, wave it to the heart, to the throat. Tuck the chin. Inhale, round it up. Looking up. Taking your time. Give yourself maybe at least three more if you like. And with your exhale, just settle into that pigeon. I like to stack my hands and place the back of my hands on my forehead. If you're really deep, you can take those arms long. But having the hands or even a fist under the forehead can help relax the shoulders, the arms a little more, the upper back. Take a moment now, if the chest is really far off the floor, you might wedge a blanket or a cushion up under your chest. And with that soft support, your back might just surrender even more. Recognize what feels good. You begin to breathe once again, settling into that awareness of your breath from beginning to end. Let the initial tension go. So as always, options, you can stay here. You can thread the needle, right arm under left. You might bring the left hand under the temple or reach the arm long past your ear. You could do the revolve, left arm under right. You might once again need to support the head or bring the arm long or even behind the back. And my favorite, sleeping pigeon, draping the right arm back onto the leg in the frock or the floor. It falls. Remember, it's, if a switch flips your pigeon and tension starts to build, back off a step or two. You don't want to be at your deep edge at the beginning here. You want to gradually go in deeper. So if you need to back off a little and still feel the stretch, that's where you need to be. Okay? We have to let that ego go and think we really have to push ourselves to get there. The body will actually fight you and not stretch, but tense up, okay? And it will take longer. So recognize when you're just trying to power through and not breathe and tune into the body. Can you soften your shoulders, your neck, your wrists, anything a little more? Right. Even longer if you like. On an inhale, we'll slowly walk it up. Lift from the heart. You can go to down dog anytime. Front toes open. Maybe bend the back knee. Draw the heel towards you. Foot flexed. Inhale, reach that left arm forward. Exhale, take it up and back. Big toe side of the foot. That big toe curls back. Maybe find your bind. Front toes open. Right hand can stay beside spider fingers to help lift from the heart and open up the rib cage. Wherever you are, though, press away from your foundation. Breathe, lift, and expand. In all directions, you're expanding. Use that foundation, press away. Spend a few breaths here. You have to get really warmed up to get here, so enjoy. When you are ready, just unwind. Curl the back toes under, lift that right leg up and back. Work it out. It's talking to you, so take your time. Move your props to the other side. Pedal it out. And down dog. Release some tension here. And then maybe optional vinyasa. Beautiful, guys. Ah, there we go. What you do, find your down dog, either have a nice exhale out the mouth or sigh it out, or both. Inhale, left leg to sky, and exhale, bend that knee in the air. Press through the left hand, toes are active. Maybe you use furniture or wall for a second. Controlled as you flip your dog. Be sure to squeeze those glutes and inner thighs. Breathe, smile. And we'll look back and we'll reach and we'll inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Calming down, inhale it up. Exhale, knee to nose again. And bring that knee in wider than the left wrist. Set it down. Slide that right leg back. 
keep sliding it back. I keep getting lower when I do it. Wedge in your prop and pause. Uh, and I haven't been saying this lately, but maybe look back and make sure the heel, the right heel is straight back from the hip. That will also help center you up when you pause here. All right, then hands wider than the mat and just a little forward. Inhale, exhale. Maybe close your eyes and feel the deep control. Feel how the upper body is really working here for you. But you feel that line of energy from the back foot waving through the spine. It's a beautiful awareness. When you are done, follow one of those exhales all the way down. Once again, you might side out. Our sympathetic nervous system is that fight or flight. So a lot of times just a ha ah, sigh helps release some of it. But then that's also why we go into watching the breath from beginning to end without fail. Let that initial tension melt away and then begin to tune in to what you're feeling. Did you come in too deeply? Do you need to back off anywhere? Can you soften some unnecessary activation or tension anywhere? Once again, if you're feeling a real tightness anywhere, you might need to back off a little bit. The wall is always there for you too. Kelly, remember if you need that. Or the couch, something like that. Recognize, thread the needle, revolve, or that sleeping pigeon, left arm back onto the leg. Let the arm fall to the proper floor. And breathe. Do you need to wedge in a blanket or a cushion under your chest? We want to begin to feel our chest just soften towards the floor here, or that front leg, wherever it is. My foot doesn't come very far forward at all. Yours might. That's my range of motion to my joint. You can't stretch the joint, so you might see where people in pigeon have that front foot way far forward. That's not our goal if your joints don't want to go there, right? That's why we come in with it forward, but when we slide our leg back, it's self adjust that front hip and knee. On an inhale, we'll slowly walk it on up, lift from the heart, maybe bend the back knee, draw the heel towards you. Inhale, reach that right arm forward, exhale, take it back, curl the big toe back. If you don't find that foot, maybe just both hands forward, spider fingers, lift the heart. You might do a few pulses gently, very slow and controlled, very active, not, not pulsing like that, just small movements, almost like you're really using a resistance band, okay? That will help too. Beautiful. Just feel the expansion. Can you feel yourself press away from the earth? Nice. Our foundation is key once again for the upper body to feel secure, find space. Linger longer if you like. We'll work our way out. Nice. Settle it out, releasing other parts of the body. Maybe one last vinyasa here. All right, side out. Feel the belly draw through the spine, the hips lift up. So you're really hollowing out the abdominals. Lift your heels high and tippy toe your feet towards your hands, forward fold. Once you get there, inhale, look forward and find space, and exhale, fold. Bend your knees, let the arms dangle, and slowly round it up. No hurry, let those fingers drip. Once you get to the top, give the shoulders a little roll. Okay, so we're going to do our um, tree pose today. All right, we're going to try to hold it for 10 breaths. And once you get there, and I'm activating you, Try to feel like my hand is hovering over your head and you can extend your head a little higher into my hand. That's going to be the finishing touch. 
All right, so I'm on the carpet on a mat on a towel. I'm just going to come to the carpet, I think. <laughs> Do you want that extra challenge? Roll up the mat a little more. Okay, that's going to give your body, your center of gravity, your core a little bit more work. Hands to hips, shifting your weight to your right foot. Lift your left knee, flex the foot, and bend your right knee a couple of times. So find a focal point on the floor, just listen. Then find your tree, maybe it's kickstand, the calf. Totally skip the knee, maybe it's the inner thigh or even your half lotus, all right? Half lotus, toes stay open. Foot presses into the leg, the leg presses into the foot, the knee opens to the side, maybe hands to heart. Press to your grounded foot, really zip it up. Feel the shoulders draw from the ears. The crown of the head extends to the sky. You can play with your branches. You can stay still, but breathe. Counting on my fingers. Thumb to fingers. With our next inhale, we'll reach the arms, extend the leg, press through your grounded foot, and just feel that expansion. And release it down and shake it off. Woo. Yeah. So it's kind of fun finding a focal point, just breathing and feeling the tree that long. So hands to hips, shift your weight to your left foot, lift your right knee, flex the foot. Bend your left knee a couple of times, just calming down, finding your center of gravity. Then take time on your right to find your tree leg. No hurry. Press that foot into the leg, the leg back, keeping that activation so the knee opens where it wants to on the right. Zip it up, hands to heart if you can, hands to stay to hips. Finishing touch, reach that crown of the head a little higher and begin to breathe. Ten breaths. Recognize that that knee begins to drift forward. Keep it pressing. On your next inhale, reach, expand, and fly. Hold it. And down, shake it up. Woo -hoo, feeling good. Okay, so from here, let's just find our Malasana squat. Okay, so feet nice and wide. Remember if those heels are lifted, roll up your mat or bring a nice blanket under the heels. But let the feet still be wide. You can do your sumo squat. All right. Take a moment, round those triceps as deeply in as you can in front of those shins. And then on an inhale, open up. Pelvic floor belly strong, don't let that go. Feel the arms pressing out as the legs hug in. Feel that edge here. If you want to telescope the spine long, make sure the neck isn't overarching, tuck your chin a little, or round down and relax if that's too much on your back and shoulders. Playful twisting if you like. If you're in sumo squat, you can even drop some nice shoulders in here for some twisting. Ooh, that feels good too, guys. Woo -woo. Any kind of twisting, remember, guys, keep yourself twisted, sisters and brothers. Yes, release that tension aggravation. I'm enjoying the beautiful weather. So grateful it's not rainy. Yes. So as always, pro or crane if you like, or maybe just those pro push-ups. You can go onto your back or forward fold anytime. I love those pro push-ups, very strong. Heels lifted, hands stay flat. Knees have to stay bent. Bring your toes closer together. Heels stay lifted. Lift the heels, shift forward, bend the elbows, hug them in, knees on the back of the arms. What does it take to press and lift back? Get those heels lifted. Maybe a few times, just over and over. If we stay with that, 
Remember, if you have extra cushions or couch cushions, you can bring them forward so your forehead can go there if you're worried about going forward. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so from here, we're going to come on back to our mat. Let's find a child's pose. Take a moment, just really melt into it. You can let the arms break back too. You can even be dynamic, arms long, elbows off the floor, spider fingers, hips reaching back. Maybe that helps release tension for you. All right. Drag your fingers as you slowly round it up, seated on your heels. We're gonna go into bow pose and we might roll side to side, so make sure there's nothing beside you. We're gonna come on to our bellies. Now I'm kind of feeling this in my lower back already, so if bow is not gonna feel good to you today, feel free to go ahead and go to your back already to have a baby and play with some bridge hip lifts, okay? So we're gonna bend our knees, reach our hands back outside the pinky toe edge of the foot. My toes are curling back. Try to work your knees a little closer together. Inhale, lift heart and legs. Squeeze those legs together. Find a focal point, more dynamic now. On the inhales, let that belly press you higher. But don't lower on the exhales any more than when you begin. So just feel the internal organs getting a nice massage here. All right, on your next exhale, maybe you can roll to one side and then it just becomes a nice shoulder stretch. Maybe you just wanna roll over to that side, take your right arm and let your left leg go behind and release the feet all together, that works too. Just to join us if the roll isn't available. We'll inhale back to center, pause, find stillness and then exhale, roll to the other side. Once again, you might take the left arm wide, release the feet, and bring that right foot out in front, right hand out in front. And just get a left shoulder stretch. All right, we'll bring it back, inhale, and exhale, release the legs long, hands by the heart, press up to modified plank, inhale, and exhale, take it back to a child's pose, and drag your fingers once again, drag them as you come up seated on your heels. Oh yeah, onto your backs, yay. Ah. Let's hug our knees in, rock it side to side a bit. Nice. All right. And from here, we're going to just seek happy baby. We might come back to this again, so don't worry if I make it a little short. But sometimes it's intuitive to do this after bridge as well for your wheel. Roll the tailbone away, tuck the chin a little. Feel the nice hand and foot connection. Soften your gaze and just breathe into the pose itself, the activation. Try to feel the hips drawing away from the shoulders. The rib cage opening up on each side. Ujjayi breath here, this is very active. Okay, keeping maybe hands to feet or maybe you need to grab ankles. We're just gonna let our heels draw into center and let our knees open wide like a butterfly. You might round it or roll that tailbone away. All right, so maybe close your eyes. On an inhale or exhale, straighten the right leg and arm. It might, the knee might still bend, it's okay. Then bring that right leg down and extend the left leg and arm. This is where closing your eyes really comes into play. Try to isolate the movement, only moving the arm and leg as you move side to side. The leg might go straight up or out to the side in a straddle. It all depends on your range of motion. Recognize if you're overarching your neck, tuck your chin a little, you've got a lot of core activation going on here to isolate this movement. Nice. If it would feel good to take both legs long, wide, straight up, whatever, maybe walk the fingers towards the toes and draw the toes towards you. 
nice leg work today. And we'll slowly lower our feet down, touching these open to the side for reclining down angle. If that's too much on the hips or the inner thighs, go ahead and just bring the feet flat and let the knees touch feet wide, okay? Don't let gravity have its way here. You've got to have pelvic floor belly engaged. The feet are pressing. So if you're really open and the legs open to the side wide, you're fine. But if they're not on the floor, you don't want to let gravity overdo it for you, okay? And maybe cause a little bit of a strain. All right, we'll draw our knees together. Feet off the floor. Lift up, hug it in like an egg. Beautiful hug. And then switch arms to the other ones closer to your face. Finding balance to the shoulders and back. And we'll go to our bridge or wheel. Maybe you want support it today just for a nice release. We've got some lower back activation today. Or maybe you just want to do your hip lifts up and down. That's fine too. Walk the heels towards the fingertips. Rock the arms in towards the rib cage. Inhale, lift the hips up. Squeeze the glutes, inner thighs. Lift the heels high. Maybe interlace if it feels good. You're breathing, your chin, and your chest is drawing away from your chin. Try to keep the hips this high as you super slow motion, lower the heels, feel those glutes working. Can you squeeze them anymore wherever you are? Breathing, and then we'll lift our heels high, release our arms wide, and slowly round our spine down. Very slowly, let the spine acclimate. Nice, roll the tailbone away at the end, feet wide as your mat, and then let's take our knees slowly side to side. You might take your arms wider and look opposite the knees. All right, so I'm doing something a little different because I know Jennifer is looking into doing this as a replay where if people can't see it live, they can see it later. I don't think she's there yet. So I'm going to, from here on right now, um, after Shavasana, leave it to you guys to do some inversion work um, after class, okay? So that those that are seeing it replay aren't just watching me talk to you guys. Um, but that being said, if you're feeling a little out of sorts and you really like conversation about um, inversions, please reach out to Jennifer for my contact information and I would love to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, aside from class, just to talk about inversions and alignment and activation, all right? I would love to do that, so please do it. <laughs> it would make my day. All right, so we're going to go into just a sweet little spinal twist here, or if you need a little happy baby first, I should have had you in that while I was chatting away, but happy baby might feel good rounding that back. All right, arms wide in that happy baby. Flex the feet. Let's exhale, slowly roll those legs all the way over to the right. Let the knees stack. If you need a cushion or a blanket between the calves or under any leg, do so for support. Look to the left and exhale, just let your right hip melt. You might bring your right hand to the hip or the thigh just for an awareness or reach that right foot outside, hand outside the top foot and extend that leg long. Oh, it'll come up more in alignment with the shoulder probably. Maybe you do it for a few breaths and back off, that's okay too. Soften your gaze and just recognize where you're feeling a stretch. And just try to breathe into it, maybe feel it soften. Recognize if you're holding any tension in your hands or arms. Let it melt. Then we'll bring those arms wide. Squeeze those legs, bring them up. Feet on the floor, lift the hips. Feet up, just like you would for happy baby flex. And exhale, slowly take the knees over to the left. Do you need a blanket under a shoulder or between the legs? Take time to get it. 
that's mindfulness in motion. With an exhale, just try to sigh it out. Go to your breath. A lot of times near the end of our practice, our mind can get fidgety. So recognize that. Finish your practice with integrity. Don't let the home schedule begin to take over. Remembering that your Shavasana is the most important pose and give it the integrity that you do the asana part, the movement, the poses, all right? And the twists, they're just as important. Finding that edge. We'll slowly bring everything back, feet on the floor, lift the hips. Maybe draw the knees wide to wide or do some windshield wipers, wide or wide, side to side wide, sorry. Or even another happy baby or any kind of movement. So maybe it's just my body, how I've been using it this week. My lower back's a little cranky today. So once you settle out in Shavasana, if your lower back's bothering you, place a nice rolled up blanket or a cushion under each calf. All right, or rolled up blanket under the on knees. If you have a bolster, you know, have it up under the knees. Yes, and that'll help ground the tailbone and help the lower back relax a little bit. All right, once you get there, let your feet be nice and wide and point your toes in towards one another and let them flop out to the side. Get a fun jello jiggle wiggle on your thighs. Really find that jello jiggle wiggle. Don't try to control it. I just have a couple of new people today, so I'm really being repeating myself a lot. So have fun with that. And when you're ready to find stillness, resolve to be still, bring your awareness to your mouth, and allow the lips to part generously and feel the wave of melt through the face. Feel it sink in deeper through the bone, the nasal passages, through the ears and the eye sockets. The forehead melts away through the hair and the follicles. Feel it go all the way to the base of the neck where the hair meets the neck. And as you let one wave melt, another wave comes along and it's deeper and deeper. Linger long as you like with the face and the head, but allow the head to melt deeply when you're ready to move on. Enjoy feeling that surrender of tension in the body. Maybe you feel the energy of the blood flow cleansing and detoxing. You can focus on the abdominals and the chest and allowing the internal organs to soften or just all the muscles around them so they can just absorb that blood flow even easier. Recognize if you can revisit any parts of the body and soften again. All right, feel everything that's touching the floor. And everything that's touching the floor, allow it to melt like water into sand, just melting and dissipating. Do you feel a sense of heaviness or weightlessness? Just surrender into that even more. Maybe you find that moment of floating away from the body. You're welcome to remain here as long as you like. Those of you that want to begin to awaken your breathing, 
observing there what you feel and see as the breath awakens the body, the sensations, the awareness, the lack of tension and reactiveness. Maybe intuitive movement or even a long body stretch. Oh, wiggle it out through the hips. Reach one hand further than the other. Feel the sweetness. Yes, and then exhale, hands to heart center, stillness, still if you like. And just breathe a few more breaths here. Without interruption, truly watching from beginning to end. Finishing as we began. Namaste.